Once so handsome man Tell me with a smile All these years that they are on All this while I didn't know I didn't know Black so beautiful Professor Barry Chavans was one of modern day Jamaica's most eclectic erudite, passionate, and accredited scholars, and yet he was a humble intellectual and caring individual. The word of Roger Kipling epitomizes Professor Chavans, and I quote, If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, end quote. And the mango tree, I lie down out of sun And before I could have fall asleep, a song come out of wrong Is the hands, them a walk, and the hands, them a talk Mercy, 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 life bitter, not a Cersei Give me little minty, give me fever grass Graduate in Philosophy and Classic from Boston College, USA master's degree of science in sociology from the University of the West Indies, PhD in anthropology from Columbia University, USA. Professor Chavans had directed his skills at researching aspects of Caribbean culture and identity to such topics as the family and sexual relationships, male gender issues, crime and violence, social integration, indigenous religious manifestations such as revivalism and Rastafari and also socio-political movements and Garveyism. There had always been a, a stream among the people of uh, memory. Uh, we had not completely forgotten Africa. And he that God fought weeping burned present seas. There is anything we contribute to Jamaica society one of the major thing is wisdom to get them wise get a society wise know that you're black know that you're african know that you're suffering by colonialism there were a community of followers settling and each had his or her own plot of land in which you cultivated and so on and sold the crops and so on. They raised goats, they raised cash crops and so forth. But Howell made a point of using ganja as a cash crop which used to be sold in the marketplace in Kingston. It was at the time, although it was proscribed from 1925, it was never really prosecuted so that it was possible to find ganja open, sold openly. As a scholar, his findings on the legacy of a slave past has informed our understanding of the underlying reasons for the many fundamental social problems in present-day Jamaica and Caribbean societies. His work points directly to solutions we must apply to the black self-identity problem which has manifested itself into a dysfunctional society with problems of absent mothers and their fathers, high level of lawlessness, widespread promiscuity, disrespectful social relationships, and environmentally destructive behaviors. What we sow and what we reap. The topic explored by distinguished anthropologist Dr. Barry Shibans at the 11th Annual Grace Kennedy Foundation Lecture held at Le Meridian, Jamaica Pegasus in March 1999. What is wrong with our males? This is a question on the lips of an increasing number of Jamaicans. The sight of idle males, idle males, young and strong, on the street corner, the daily news of the brutal, senseless murders they commit, their virtual dereliction of higher education, their cruelty to women, their display of a value system alien to the one most of us know. All these and many more examples of behaviors that most of us fail to understand from the question. In this lecture, 
as the title suggests, I will argue that it is we ourselves who ask the question, who have contributed to whatever it is our leaders have become or are becoming. Every murder um, creates such pain and, 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 and deep hurt among the many people who are affected. And, you know, it is just that we have to work harder. We just can't give up hope, you know, that one day um, people will see that it doesn't, ma it doesn't make sense to settle disputes through this kind of violence, lethal violence. We need to talk it out. You know, there's a better way. It's a win-win way. Professor Barry Shabans served as chairman of the Institute of Jamaica from 1997 till November 2010. And um, and the duppies and the rolling calf and the black art man and, and those kind of things. I, I think um, I it resonates certainly with me, who I'm a countryman really, and maybe some of uh, my audience here too who uh, grew up in the country. I think that this is where um, the cultural life of Jamaica, which you spoke to, really all begins. It's um, even the the development of culture in the city. Um, uh, began in the country, in the countryside. It is the country people who peopled uh, the city and brought it exactly there. So, you know, and um, unfortunately, I think we have lost so much. Um, I, when you visit the countryside now and see how rubbish um, the countryside is, nobody farms anymore. Um, there is a, a fracturing of community and a sense of community and all of that. And uh, I think we have suffered, and the country, um, to its peril, um, pays in attention to the country, the countryside. Thank you very much, Mr. Siaga. Thank you very much. I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Um, had I not been here, Clover Johnston would be the one who would be reporting to the Council of the Institute that there was a launch of a digitization project and it was a success and um, the members of council like myself would say yeah yeah uh, it was successful but having come here myself and having um, been warned by Brooke this morning that if we have 40 people believe me it is a success <laughs> Well, we catered, and she's told me that she catered for 50 people, just in case. Well, the last time I counted, I, there were over 60 people here. <laughs> now, you have to call this a superlative success. <laughs> and and I shall so report to the council, um, and I will back Clover when she reports to council that yes, it was indeed a extraordinary success and let me really thank you let me thank on behalf of the Institute the deep let me express the deep appreciation to Brooke and her team at the FIU for initiating and coordinating this important project and extending to us this warm invitation to participate in this launch what the digitization of the journal will mean for us is in, tr in, a, in a real true way, a de-locking of the journal from its imprisonment in time and space, you know, and releasing it to a readership and a research community that has the potential to be as wide as cyberspace itself. Spirit of God for Christmas morning when the stars getting thin 
from a squatter window, a woman start to sing. God great the true fear with God great